plant-based weight training goals. Now I have said before in my videos, my goal personally is to be the guy who has a chest that sticks out further than my stomach. I want to be able to wear a t-shirt and it not feel like a dress where the bottom of the t-shirt comes out this way because of ultimately my stomach. I want a chest that comes out further than my stomach. That is ultimately my goal. Because if I know I can do that, I've built enough muscle. It's not overkill. I'm not trying to be in a Marvel movie here. But enough muscle to counter the fat. So a very realistic goal. But boy, do you have to do a lot to get there. And of course, I'm in a whole ex human experiment that I'm doing on myself right now where I am weight training, running two miles a day. So I'm lifting weights for an hour a day, running two miles a day, and intermittent fasting until 11 a.m. and plant-based only for right now. And I do plan to stop for about a month or two after I do this a year, after my body gets used to it. It's the shock to the system method that I'm kind of creating using that specifically. Because most people who will go vegan won't go back. Or most people who aren't vegan won't ever try to be vegan. But I want to live most of my days as vegan and only disrupt it with eating meat to shock the system, all in an effort to keep cutting the fat. So ultimately, I looked at the refrigerator as I was thinking about this this morning. Let me see if I can get that zoom perfect without me in the shot there. There we go. So this is a magnet that has been on our refrigerator. My wife and I have been married for 12 years ago, as of a few days ago, what we gonna look at that man. So this is just a funny, silly magnet that we have on our fridge. I forget it's there, but look at that man. Look, look at, you know, you can imagine this ad was from the 50s or 60s. I want to be that guy. I want to be this guy. You know, when I look at this guy, I think, yeah, he's probably like in his early 40s, but he looks healthy. He looks lean. He looks healthy. I mean, yes, he looks like a man who is in his 40s. But yeah, why not look like this guy? I, it's funny because a lot of people have these goals to look like Marvel superheroes. No, I just want to look like this guy. I want to be a guy who when you look at him, like, okay, yeah, there's a dad, there's a husband, there's a guy in his 40s. What's different about him? Oh, it's that he's actually taking very good care of himself and... That's not normal. We don't see a lot of people, a lot of men like that for that age. Now, granted, yes, I'm 39. I'm not in my 40s yet, but I'm going to be there in less than a year. So, yeah, that's that's ultimately what my what my goal is. And it's so funny because I think if you were to go into most gyms, especially mine, you go in there and if you were to interview, say, hey, what is your fitness goal? And they're probably going to talk about how big they want to get. I think a lot of them, or they ultimately want to you know lose the fat off their belly. But other than that. They really still have a goal of being very muscular, and I don't. Just like this guy on here. He's, he's not overly muscular, but ultimately, in order to lose that much fat and to be slim, at my age, by default, what happens is you have to build muscle. By default, that's pretty much, you, it's very hard not to build muscle in order to lose weight, because at my age, they pretty much go hand in hand. So. It's, it's interesting when you look at like a teenage boy, for example, which I remember how that was over 20 years ago when I was a teenage boy, but I was very thin, you know? I did, my chest was very, just completely flat. Like there's not as much muscle mass on a teenage boy, nor fat typically, especially if you're fairly active. Like I was, I was at least running most days as a teenage boy. But as you turn into a man and you get closer to my age, what happens is, if I were to ever have so little fat on me, I couldn't do it without building muscle. It's the paradox of being a man, of having a man's body. You want to shed fat? Go for it. But you're going to have to ultimately build muscle in the process of that. So that's, and it's something we take for granted. When we see men in movies and TV shows, whether it's current or whether it's from the 1980s or from the 1960s, you see a man who doesn't have fat on his body or, or appears to be slim, ultimately there's some kind of workout going on. There's cardio, probably weight training involved as well. That's what it takes. 
you can't just simply have the body like you did when you were a teenage boy. You have to, at least in my case, and this is what I think is the case probably for most, weight training, cardio, in addition to that, and then a very specific diet plan, meal plan, of you're focusing like you on one specific thing, here's some stuff you don't have, but here's the stuff you do have, and you combine that with the cardio and the weight training, and ultimately that's the method. Now granted, it's more of a theory, and I'm living it. I'm not here to say, here's what you should do, listen to me, by all means. There's all kinds of guys on YouTube saying that, I'm not one of them. I'm actually saying, I'm the guy that watches those videos and learns from them. So much of, of how I'm doing all of this is based on what I've heard people who know more than I know talk about it. So, yeah, that's it. That's what I, that's my goal. I want to be a slim guy. I'm 5'9", and I think if I'm slim, it's going to be quite a lean look, which is ultimately what I want. And I think in a good way, it's a way that you combat the aging process. Because by being physically fit, you automatically seem more youthful when you take care of yourself. Now that's not to change the fact that I'll have wrinkles and other signs of aging, but automatically by, by being lean, and am I, small and strong ultimately is another goal we could say that I'm wanting to be, it is taking a 39 year old man or ultimately a man in his 40s and a much younger version of a guy in his 40s because he takes care of himself. He has the discipline that it takes. Your comments on my fitness goals. Hold on.